Hey guys, here's a short video just showing the uh, engine test stand startup setup that I'm using here. So the main parts of this come from a company called, uh, I guess it's Zelex or Zalex Industries. Uh, I'll put a link to their, their website. Anyway, they make this uh, starter adapter that you see here. Uh, it fits early Porsches and, um, and Volkswagens, obviously. They make a couple different versions, one of which is like, I think they call a half ring, obviously, because it just covers this half of the engine case. They do make a full ring that goes around the whole bell housing, but for me, I wanted to be able to test motors on the engine stand. So engine stand is supporting the one side and then this goes on the other. And uh, it's a really nice looking piece. It's all, uh, I don't know, cadmium or zinc plated. And it pretty much has provisions to bolt the starter up and then pick up the stock mounting locations on the case. So you can see the bolt here. And then the stud down here coming out of the case. Um, and then they do also offer a little box that uh, has a magnet on it, by the way, so pretty handy, where you can turn the ignition on or off. And then uh, this button is for the starter. This will show you your generator is working or not. This is your oil uh, idiot light. So yeah, I think shipped the little box here and the adapter here with uh, both, I got both the six volt and the 12 volt little uh, shim uh, set up here for it. it was like 300 shipped, so not too bad. And then pretty much from there, you just are gonna need some regular cables that you can you know, commonly get an auto parts store to connect to your battery. And then their little box itself just clamps on the battery with um, regular alligator clips. And that's pretty much the setup. Needless to say, you're going to need some gas. So pretty much just connected to the stock fuel line and shoved a hose down into a uh, gas can. And then you got a couple wires here to wire up to the oil idiot light and then power for the coil. Uh, they do have another one I mentioned earlier for the generator idiot light, which I don't have hooked up. But all this stuff works for both 6 and 12 volts, so either way you're okay. And that's pretty much it. So I'll show you real quick here. Turn the ignition on to power up the coil. The starter button itself is always live, so even if you have the ignition turned off, you can still rotate the motor to check all that out before you actually try and start it. So that's pretty much it. Shut it off then, just, just kill the power to the, uh, the coil. So that's it, really nice setup and allows you to test the motor before it goes in the car. So if anything's wrong, you can find it then before it's too late. Thanks for watching.